Wall Street was not designed to create predictable payouts during retirement. That's why the financial services industry came out with what is called the 4% rule, which I think is pathetic. In this educational episode, I'm going to show you why they did that and why you should not buy into a 4% payout. I can show you how to get an 8 to 10% payout tax-free. So get ready. I'm Doug Andrew. I've been a retirement planning specialist now since 1974. Uh, a lot of people view me as a, a financial strategist, a, a tax minimization specialist, because I help a lot of retirees uh, prepare for a retirement where they will not outlive their money. And uh, there's three big reasons or dangers uh, that cause most retirees to outlive their money taxes, inflation, and market volatility. So uh, what I do is I help people eliminate those dangers. I help them become immune from taxes going up, inflation eroding away their purchasing power, and uh, make themselves immune from the market nosedives, okay? And so I do that by using a strategy and a product called Indexed Universal Life. Now, uh, what it is, is a vehicle that allows you to accumulate your money totally income tax-free, and then you can turn on tax-free income. You can access your money tax-free, and people say, well, uh, as soon as the IRS finds this out, they'll close that loophole. It's not a loophole. You can accumulate your money tax-free in the Internal Revenue Code Section 72E with these, uh, it's been that way for over 108 years in the Internal Revenue Code in one form or another. And under uh, Section 7702, the IRS is the one that dictates how you can access your money income tax-free. It's no secret. It's no loophole. Now, Section 101A of the Internal Revenue Code basically says, at the end of the day, uh, when you die, any money that's left in the account will blossom, increase in value, and transfer income tax-free. Now, I teach this uh, as advanced continuing education to CPAs and tax attorneys, and oftentimes they sit there with their mouths open. They've, they've heard about this, but they didn't need to know about these three sections of the code to get their LLM degree, which is a master's in taxation. And so they come and they're like blown away. And then I teach them about three tax citations, TEFRA, DEFRA, and TAMRA, and uh, how if you adhere to those, you can fund a maximum funded indexed universal life insurance contract to accumulate money tax-free at a great net internal rate of return that at the end of the day is within 1% of the gross rate of return retroactive back to day one. Now, what did I just say? It means that uh, you can earn like I have uh, for the last, golly, since 1980, an average of 9.62%, uh, rounding that down to 9.6, uh, you divide that into the rule of 72, your money doubles every seven and a half years. Yeah, I've had clients uh, since 1980 that started out with, let's say, $500,000, and that 500,000 doubled to a million, in seven and a half years, then doubled to two million, and then doubled to four million, and then doubled to eight million at the end of four seven and a half year periods. That's 30 years if you do the math. And now 30 years later, they have $8 million generating $800,000 a year uh, of growth or income totally tax-free. Uh, sound too good to be true? No, we, we've done this all the time. Now, in actuality, indexed Universal Life came out in 1997. I've actually averaged 11.17 since then, and I've netted 10.07. 10 10% uh, rates of return doubles your money every 7.2 years. The point is this. Uh, a portfolio of index universal life structured correctly and funded properly, and if it is uh, structured correctly and funded properly, it uh, qualifies to be deemed what I call a laser fund. 
Now, that happens to be the title of my most recent best-selling book. I want to gift you a copy of this book at the end of this episode, so stay with me. But LASER is an acronym that I've used for decades that stands for Liquid Assets, Safely Earning Returns. I want my money liquid, safe, earning predictable rates of return tax-free. I want every million dollars that I accumulate to be able to generate $100,000 a year of tax-free income without depleting the million-dollar nest egg. And so that's why it's my favorite vehicle. So let's get back to uh, why most Americans outlive their money and this 4% rule. See, I have a lot of clients who have experienced these seven, eight, nine, 10% uh, tax-free payouts uh, during their golden years. And some of their friends go, golly, uh, my advisor uh, has told me only to take out 4%. Uh, in fact, if I take out more than 4%, I have to sign this waiver uh, that I will not sue him or his firm for outliving my money. Uh, what's up with that? Well, it's called the 4% rule, okay? So how did this all come about? See, um, a lot of people, they follow the herd. They put money into traditional IRAs and 401ks, 403Bs, 457s, pensions, profit sharing plans. Uh, deferring tax uh, because they were told they would likely be in a lower tax bracket when they retired. Now, <laughs> that has not been true or axiomatic uh, for most savers for the last 25 years, okay? Uh, but see, Wall Street, who touts being fiduciaries, see, what's a fiduciary? Uh, it's somebody who's supposed to be looking out for your best interest. They put your interest above their own. And so um, they don't want to be called out if they could see that you're a saver and uh, you're saving enough money. You don't just save 4% of your income. Uh, you want to have the same lifestyle you had during your working years. And so you did the math and you realize you have to be saving 10, 15, 20% or 30% of your income because you know how to hedge against inflation. So uh, you do what uh, two of my clients did. They were both physicians. Uh, they socked away money into their tax deferred accounts and uh, they just followed the herd. Uh, they listened to their advisors and they deferred, deferred, thinking, oh, you'll likely be in a lower bracket when you retire. And guess what? At retirement, they had $4.6 million accumulated. And all of a sudden uh, they heard me on the radio and they realized, oh my heck, we're not in a lower tax bracket. We're in as high or higher tax bracket as we've ever been in, and we will never be in a lower bracket. We're gonna be in the highest tax bracket the rest of our lives. This was stupid. Uh, our advisor should have seen this. Our advisor was not looking out for our best interest. Our advisor at a minimum should have uh, convinced us to convert to a Roth years ago while our values were less and taxes were lower. Well, so a lot of advisors, uh, they don't wanna have egg on their face, uh, but they, they think they can get away with not being sued because everybody's doing it. Uh, and yeah, they could argue that in court. Well, everybody has been telling you to put money in IRAs or 401ks. We were just following the herd. Yeah, well, let's uh, rethink this thinking here. What happened is um, Dalbar, I think, is credited with being the analyst uh, that discovered that most Americans who have their money invested in tax-deferred IRAs or 401ks in the market, uh, they're usually only averaging 9.14% in, in any 20-year period if they buy and hold, if they don't panic when the market goes down. Uh, so you're earning 9%. Uh, if you had a million dollar nest egg, uh, you could theoretically be able to pull out 90,000 without depleting your nest egg. Well, you pull out 90,000, you have to pay taxes. 41 out of 50 states has a state income tax. Between federal and state tax, many Americans who accumulate a lot of money in these IRAs or 401ks are paying as much as 33% or more in tax. Okay. So, uh, that means if you pull out 90 grand, you're paying 30,000 in tax. You're netting 60,000 a year or 5,000 a month to buy gas, groceries, prescriptions, golf green fees. Um, is that going to cut it? 
Well, um, in actuality, Dalbar said, wait a minute. Uh, most retirees are not earning 9%. Um, there's a difference between uh, the investment return, the market return, and the investor return, the actual return investors realize. He said, that's only 3.49%. I'm talking about Dalbar. 3.49, why? They said, because most retirees, they realize they cannot afford to leave their money in that portfolio and incur 20, 30, or 40% losses. Uh, they need that income. So what do they do? Emotions take over. When the market drops 20, 30, 35% is usually the, the critical point where they go enough already. And they sell, they pull their money out of the market, they sell low. And then what do they do? They wait, 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 wait until the market has rebounded and then they buy high. And so Dalbar says, the truth is most retirees with money in the market are only averaging 3.49%. Now that's scary. Because of that, the financial services industry said, well, we don't wanna be sued for our clients outliving their money. So if they're earning three and a half percent, the most we want you advisors out there to illustrate is 4% payout. It's called the 4% rule. Uh, that's gonna slowly deplete their nest egg, but not before their LE. LE is life expectancy. So that's what came about is the 4% rule. They only want you to pull out 4%. So let's do the math. On a million dollar nest egg, they only want you to pull out 40,000. If you pull out more than that, you have to sign a waiver. You won't sue them for you outliving uh, your money. Uh, that's pretty pathetic. So you pull out 40,000 and you still have to pay tax. Well, that's a, a low amount. Maybe, maybe you're only in a 25% tax bracket instead of a 33% bracket, okay? 25% on 40 grand is, is 10 grand. So you're only netting 30,000 to buy gas and groceries, prescriptions, golf green fees. That's only 3%. Uh, that's ridiculous. Now, if you subtract the 1% asset management fee, they charge you on that million dollar portfolio. Uh, now you're down to 2% or 20,000. That's ridiculous. That's unacceptable to me. And so rather than 4% before tax, uh, which is really only 3% or after taxes and fees is really only 2%. Uh, I would rather uh, you get 8%. How much more is 8% than four? Don't say four, it's, it's twice as much. 80,000 a year of income is twice as much as 40,000. But 80,000 tax-free is way better than 30,000 or 20,000 after tax and fees. In actuality, if you're only netting 30 and uh, max funded IUL can generate 90,000, 90,000 is 300% more income. 90,000 is three times as much as 30. But if you're only netting 2% or 20,000 and you can net 10%, 100,000. Yeah, I've had clients who actually get 500% more in retirement income than they were getting from their IRAs or 401ks invested in the market because of that stupid 4% rule after taxes and fees. Is this making sense? So um, I would advise you to do this. If you have uh, money being managed, it's called assets under management, uh, ask your advisor to do this. Uh, create an illustration of you taking out net after-tax income of 8%, 10% of your portfolio uh, from uh, today until age 120. I will be shocked if they even do that. They're probably forbidden from doing it or else there'll be all kinds of caveats. Or they may say, you know what, I, I, I can't do that because Wall Street was not designed to create predictable income. Uh, it's too volatile. That's why at retirement planning is so critical and it's different than for retirement planning. For your retirement, 
maybe you could afford to go through uh, the ups and downs uh, of the market. But now at retirement, you've got to get your money out of the market and into something that uh, will let you benefit when the market goes up, but not lose when the market goes down because it's gonna to continue to go through those gyrations. You can't afford to uh, try to time when you take money out of your IRA as a 401 case. So the next question people ask is, well, how can you do that? How can you participate when the market goes up and not lose when the market goes down? It's actually pretty simple. You get your money out of the market. You perform a strategic rollout. You get your money out of those IRAs or 401ks. Uh, get the taxes over and done with at today's lower rates and reposition it into something tax-free from now on uh, so that inflation will work for you instead of against you. But make yourself immune from market volatility by using indexing. I'm not talking about index mutual funds. Index mutual funds, uh, if you had your money in the S&P 500 index fund, you would have lost 40% in 2008. Our clients using indexing, indexed universal life, they didn't lose a dime in 2008. They may not have made much of anything, but they didn't lose. In the first 90 days of 2009, uh, many of them locked in gains of 16% tax-free after not losing a penny. See, indexing is a strategy. Your money is safe in an insurance company earning their general account portfolio rate of maybe 4% that they're earning on AAA and AA bonds, mortgages on shopping malls and skyscrapers. You can settle for the 4% during a recession. Your million will, will earn 40,000 of tax-free growth, but you won't lose. But uh, if you feel bullish about America, you can tell the insurance company, take the interest, the 40,000 that year, and buy upside options in the S&P or the Dow Jones or whatever index. And they will do that. And then the insurance company will pay you whatever uh, the market does. If the S&P goes up 12, they'll pay you 120,000 on your million. If it goes up 16, they may pay you 160,000. They may cap you because they can only pay you based upon the interest on your money buying options. But if the market crashes, those options expire worthless, but you still have what you started with, the million dollars, because your million is not in the market. Is this making some sense? Well, I have averaged returns, like I've said, of 11% using indexing. It is the magic behind having your money participate during your golden years when the market goes up, but not lose when the market goes down. And that's a strategy I explain in this book. Would you like to learn more? I'll gift you a free copy of this 300 page book to claim your free copy because uh, you can get it on Amazon for 20 bucks, but this is not about me selling you a book. This is about you. And so um, I want to gift you this. You simply go to laserfund.com, L-A-S-E-R fund.com or click on the link below and you contribute a nominal amount when you get into that site um, to, towards the shipping and the handling. I'll cover the rest of the shipping but I'll pay for the book. I'll fire out a hard copy to you via priority mail. And uh, while you're in there, if you like to listen and learn or watch and learn, there's audio and video options available. Uh, check out the educational webinars we teach on a regular basis. They're free. And uh, you can even schedule an appointment at no cost or obligation with an IUL specialist that I oversee to make sure uh, it's done correctly and they will show you how a laser fund may work in your particular set of circumstances, how you can perform a strategic rollout, get your money out of those IRAs or 401ks, out of the market, so that by the time you retire, uh, you can experience tax-free income with higher payouts that are immune from market volatility. So claim your free copy and I'll see you on the better side of your financial future.